It's me. It's me. It's Driver 53. Welcome, everybody, to a console map review of Dalberg. Dalberg was originally released for PC and Mac in September of 2020, and today, in November, it is now ready for console players as well. Now, this is going to take up 241.27 megabytes, and... It's got a slot count of 333 when you start in Farm Manager or start from scratch. There's a couple things you can sell to get you all the way down to 319. So a very, very low slot count. Now, if we uh, come into here and we want to buy something, we can see that at 468 is what we're going to start at as um, New Farmer. Now, I'm not quite going to show you all the equipment yet. Um, I want to kind of show you the map here. So this is what we're looking at for the map. It's a 2x map. Huge, huge amount of forestry. And that's what it says in here in the description. The description says, Welcome to Dahlberg, a small town in the... And I'm sorry for butchering this. Graf, Grafenbachtel? Yeah, and then Germany in the parentheses. Important, at the start of the map, the Nuero grain silo must be selected as a mod, and I will show you what that one is. So the map, the map is a real replica of a small town, a small village, uh, Dahlberg. Dahlberg is a Rhineland Palatinate, it says Germany again, has approximately 250 residents and is characterized by forestry and farming. The map has huge forest areas and many steep fields and meadows. Big tractors are not suitable on the narrow ways. So there are six selling points. There's an animal dealer. There's a lime station, biogas plant, fuel station, more than 70 fields and meadows. That's awesome. And huge forest areas. It is seasons ready. And yeah, that's going to be it. So let me show you really quickly what the silo is that you are going to need. It is this here. It is grain silo, and it's N-E-U-E-R-O. That is a silo you're going to need. If you don't have it, it will not show up. So, speaking of that, let's go over here and take a look at it. This is what it is. This is the silo that you own when you first start the game. All right. As you can see, we are right along the river. So, if I show you on the map again, this is the area where we are. So, your farmhouse is here and your silo. And you own just a little bit of land right here. So, there's a lot of stuff. Some storage. You got a piece of equipment already here, a fence with a trailer. That's awesome. Looks like you've got a um, cedar. You've got a cultivator. That's awesome. Over here, you've got a telehander, the Kramer. That's cool. So, a couple small little buildings. Not much. But, I don't know. Is there anything more around back here? Doesn't look like it. An awesome creek. Perfect. So, that's what you're going to start with at this location. Alright, and I say we go ahead, hop in here, and let's go for a ride. Now, let's see where we want to go first, okay? So, we can't really go left unless we want to go see these items here. So, let's go check those out first. Let's go ahead, and we're going to turn left. Now, the way that I like to do my map tours is I like to be kind of surprised at the same time that I'm showing this to all of you. So, we are going to be on the right-hand side of the road here. Awesome. So, as you can see, super steep mountains. There's a nice little castle up there on the right-hand side. But, the forestry is going to be quite difficult, it looks like. Now, how do we get over there? Well, it looks like you're going to have to take that little bridge right there and go down over here to this cell point. And what exactly is that cell point? That is a spinnery. All right, so there's a bridge right here. We will catch that on the way back. How about that? And then we're going to come down here to this other cell point. And it looks like you're going to drive right into the uh, 
a tunnel and go through the mountain. So this cell point is going to be right here. Alright, so it looks like milk is going to go there and all your other grains are going to come here. So perfect. So, Gast House is what it is. So it looks like all your primary crops. All the way across. Looks like you're going to have root crops also. Um, sugar cane, eggs, obviously are going to go there. Milk's going to go there. And that's going to be it. So perfect. So whether you up here as a traditional cell point or your milk right over there. And eggs too, it looks like. There's a little sign there. So now, let's go back over here to the spinnery and check this out. So, like I said, you're going to have to take this bridge that's right here that I did not realize you were going to have to jump on. So, this bridge right here is going to take you back down to your spinnery. So I'm not going to take it because I want to get up to the next part. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a left here. And we're going to go up this hill. Alright, so we're still going along here. We just passed our house again, or our farmyard, right? And this is going to be... Let me go ahead and uh, go in here and show you the sleep trigger really quickly. So I'm assuming it's going to be right here. Yep, I am not tired. Okay, perfect. So that's your house right there on the front. And we will take a look and see if we can sell that here in a minute. Well, once we get done, we'll come back and look at the equipment and see uh, see what all there is. So, as we keep driving, we can see that there is a gas station here on this side. Awesome, so super close to your farm. Looks like they got some recycling centers too. That's great! I love seeing that. It's really awesome the, my, the map, ma map makers put that in here. So, we are going to take this road here. And it may seem really weird that I'm doing this but I'm trying to get up to another cell point without having to go the super long way. So it's really, really awesome. I like the difference in this map, how it is like a logging map, really. Oh, look how high up you are already. That is so cool. Let's see what it looks like from inside here. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that view. That is so awesome. Oh, I better not uh, fall off. That would be a long way down. All right, so we're going to keep driving around this. And there's going to be a couple different... What's it say? A walking path? Huh. But we're not walking. I think that's what that is. I don't know. I'm an American trying to figure out these other maps. And if there's anything in these that stick out that I'm not saying quite right, please let me know. I want to be educated at the same time as that I'm informing you of some things. Um, I love learning new things. So, we're going to go up this hill, and I believe it's going to be the biogas plant. Yeah, that's correct. So, biogas plant's going to be up here, and it looks like there's going to be a lime station also. So, we're going to keep coming up. And, what do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Bio... Gas and Lage. If I said that right, please give me a comment that said yes, you nailed it, or if not, um, just tell me no and practice again. <laughs> so, here we are at the Biogas BGA. Awesome. So, we're going to go ahead and come in here. Um, I'm not quite sure. Maybe the lime's on the other side. So it looks like right here is where everything is going to go. So let's switch out to this view here. So that's where you're going to put all your product in. You have two huge bunker silos. Absolutely enormous. Awesome. So let's drive around over here. This is where your digestate is going to come out at. Can this... Is this going anywhere for us? Can we drive all the way around? Maybe. Maybe. If you were in a big tractor, you definitely couldn't do this. Oh, am I going to get stuck back here, though? Oh, no. No. All right, I'm going to edit this out, too. Don't go this way. Don't go this way. But it's really nice to see that uh, they made places if you wanted to play hide-and-seek. Um, <laughs> you could definitely do that back here. So your friends would never find you. That should be like a challenge that we should play... 
hide and seek on a and that's like your way scale awesome so where is the line oh it looks like it's in here is this it oh that is so unique if that is what it is I don't know what does this say I don't know what that word means. I am sorry. But it looks like that is where you get lime at. Just based on where it's at on the map. Holy cow. Because I don't know how it would be around here anywhere. Alright, so the next place we're going is we are going to come across this bridge and round up over here and look at a couple of these fields and then come over here to the animal dealership so we're taking the long way around all right and yeah so bear with me and let's uh go for a little ride what do you guys say so it looks like right here we're gonna go next to the biogas plant that we were just inside plane hind seek uh oh oh wow look at this oh this is this is awesome absolutely awesome oh I should have taken that turn all right so I'm just gonna keep driving along here and I'm probably gonna edit a bunch of this out and we will see you all on the other side <laughs> Alright, check out this awesome water crossing right here, y'all. Now we're going to turn... Hold on, what's this say? Mm, no idea. Wish I knew. Alright, so we're going to keep going along this line, this road. And I think we're going to make, yeah. So we're going to turn back up here. So I don't think there's like very many direct routes from a lot of these places to other places. This is really steep. I would not want to have any type of load at all coming up this hill. This is killer. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is a very, very steep hill. Come on. Come on. You got this. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. Alright, so we're going to be going to the second road here and it, we're just gonna follow one around really is what it's gonna be all right everyone so I needed to get out away uh, from the uh, tractor a little bit so you could see what was going on here now it looks like there's some like we call these things deer sands um, in the states where I'm from but these fields look really really nice it looks like you can do some uh, some pretty cool farming here um, you know once again tons and tons of of trees but it looks like you've got some options to do some farming too I mean there's a rock randomly in the middle of nowhere but oh I guess a couple of them oh wow so let's go and see what this is now I believe this is going to be the animal dealer over here huge building I mean that's what it should be honestly so we need to find the entrance, and it looks, looks like it's right here in the front. Awesome. Now, I'm thinking that you've got the animal dealer that's going to be here, maybe? Yeah, so that's what it says. 
Albrecht Decker. Van Van Handel. Van Handel. Albrecht Decker. Albrecht. Yep. I, I think that's kind of how you say that. Albrecht. Maybe I need more phlegm in my uh, enunciations. So that's interesting. I wonder what goes there. It's not showing up on the map. Huh. It's very interesting. And then a cell point. Maybe straw? That's super weird. I have no idea what it is. And I don't think... What does it say? F? What's that saying? Nope. No idea. Wow. Um, that's throwing me for a loop. I am sorry, everyone. Completely throwing me for a loop. Ooh, I bet it's slurry, because that's manure. You guys see that? So, it's either going to be... I wonder if they're buy points. Or sell points. One or the other. Maybe I can grab a trailer and find out in a little while. How about I do that for you guys? I will find out and I will put down below what it is. Alright? So, the next place we're going to go is we're going to follow this on around. And there is a sell point right down over here. So, we're going to go to it. We're going to come around. And we're going to come back over to this one. And then we're going to drive down to the bottom corner. So, it's taken a while to get through all these. And I'm sorry, um, this is kind of the way it is right now. This is map. There's no easy way to get anywhere. And I really, really like it. I really do. I think it's really cool. So we have a few more hills here. Uh, fields and hills, right? Um, these are not going to be for the faint of heart. You are going to need a harvester or a mower or whatever with a lot of horsepower. Um, a lot of horsepower. And a driver that um, doesn't veer off into the trees for sure also so we are now going this way we're going to figure out what this cell point is down over here I like how this winds back and forth this is really really cool yeah definitely really cool so it looks like we have our cell point up here on the left hand side I wonder what it could be Wow, it looks like a one way in and a one way out. I'm. Let's see what the map says it is. Wiesen Mulehall? So it looks like this is gonna take all your main crops. It's gonna take root crops, um, sugar meat, or cane, sugar cane, eggs, milk, also. All the way across. So perfect. So let's um, take a little shortcut here. And uh, we're going to go back down this road, across a bridge, and go back over to where we have a couple more pieces of equipment with another sail point. So I'm slowly showing you all the different pieces of equipment on this map because we're going to find them along the way. It's pretty cool. So look, another tunnel that you get to, uh, if you were leaving, drive through. Alright, so we're going to go up this way and then we're going to take this right hand turn here. we go down here and pick up a little bit more of our equipment and see what this next sell point is. So once again, a few more fields kind of along the way as we go. I mean, just look at that. That field does not look very fun if you have a 100 horsepower harvester. I'm sorry. It does not look great. Now this one, yeah, perfectly fine. But that's going to require some horsepower and some torque for sure. So we're going to be making this turn right here 
hopefully no uh come on come on come on all right so this building right here is i bet the barn yep this is where you're gonna sell bales all right we're actually going to switch off and we're gonna take the new holland t5 so we have the new holland t5 we have a front mower and we have the collecting wagon awesome so the next place we want to go all right is definitely down here at the sawmill okay so we're going to take this road right here we're going to drive past check out a few more of the fields and then drive across over here so here we go looks like we're going to be taking this road right here get that mower out of the way let's see how this little t5 does see if it's got enough horsepower so field 41 actually let me show you this this field that you see right here this is ours we start with this so that's why everything is over here next to it makes sense awesome map maker getting our uh, equipment right by the fields that we start with it's a very awesome great thing thank you all right so we're gonna be going through here like I said over to our other fields and if I didn't say who made this map it is uh, Thilu LP T-H-I-L-U LP that is the uh, creator map maker of this the author I guess you could say so thank you very much uh, Thilu LP I think that's who it is if I butchered that I'm sorry So we're getting really close. We got a couple more fields. I wonder, are these fields gonna be pretty flat or are they gonna be kinda hilly? I'm thinking kinda hilly, but we'll see. So I mean they don't look too bad. Right? We got a tunnel there, tunnel there. So, I mean, you're definitely gonna need some horsepower, again, unless you're down there on the bottoms. So we're gonna go this way and this way now if you are doing logging this next place is where you are going to bring all your logs to or your wood chips and it looks like if you had a scorpion king you could really clean house on this map in a hurry all these trees look really nice and fun and easy to work with all right so this looks interesting so it appears that back here is where you're going to sell your wood. And we've got, or that's probably going to be wood chips back there, isn't it? Yeah, I bet that's wood chips back there. And this is going to be regular wood. Now, I wonder what this is. No, nope, that's your wood. That's your selling your wood. You're going to bring it there. Wood chips are back there. Now, can we get inside this? So, everybody, you can store your equipment in here. If you've got logging equipment, just bring it over here. That is awesome. Thank you for letting us do that. Absolutely thank you. So now we're going to go down, and we're going to keep going across, and we're going to get to a animal pasture or an animal area. All right? So let's bring it up and we're gonna keep going just right across here a little bit of a shuffle and then across and oh we could go down to actually let's do that because then we'll come up on the bottom side and we'll see a couple Ooh, I hit a I hit a thing a tree I think the t5 will survive beautiful once again you know the thing is if you really want it like I mean check this area out right here right if you wanted to, you could flatten all of the all these trees and then set up a little farm up here. That would be so awesome to reclaim this area, right? With logging and then go to town. Now where's my tractor? I lost it. There it is. I mean, but that would be so cool. That's something I would definitely definitely be interested in it's just getting the equipment up here 
that's going to be the tough part. But I think once you got it up here, you'd be fine. So, and then you can expand out to these fields over here too. I mean, this does, I mean, it still looks pretty flat. It's pretty awesome. A little bit of a roll here on this hill. A couple nice fields, seven and eight. That's not bad. Not bad at all. So like I said, we're gonna go down here on the uh, south side. I think it's south, it's bottom side of this uh, cow area. And then we're going to turn up and take a look at a couple of the other fields. I mean, just look how flat this is. All of this right here. You could... Man, there is so much potential here with all of this. So much. And we're going to go ahead and turn here. And go up. And like I said, I think the worst part would be getting your equipment up there. If you decided to turn it into fields. Alright. So this here looks like it's going to be a farm a cow area all right so we're gonna go ahead and turn that off now this is an awesome shed that you just have you're gonna be able to put stuff in there so these here open up look at this look at this barn so much room for equipment I like to say activities and then you come over here on the other side and look at this huge bunker silo. It's a pull through all the way. Look at, I mean, mil I bet it's millions. Absolutely millions. You're going to be able to drive all the way through it. I don't have enough silage to be able to fill this thing up, but man. So now, this is cows, all right? And you are going to get... Your milk right there. Sorry, I was trying to figure something else out. Food is going to go here, obviously. This is where you are going to buy them. Perfect. And this is where water goes. Now, we should have another area for straw right here. You've got slurry. And I bet manure spawns right there. That is really, really cool. Really cool. So, I'm going to... And then we've got three storage units here for whatever you want to put in them. Awesome. That is a great looking barn. I wonder if you could actually get inside here. Nope. So no way to get inside there. This one doesn't open up either. And none of that opens. So you can't actually drive inside, but still very, very beautiful. I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to bet how many. We're just going to wait, and we'll find out how many it is. All right, so the next thing I want to do is just drive around some of these fields here just to show you how they are, you know, how they look. And then um, that'll be it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll just drive by some of these fields here, take a look at the view, and um, then take a look at the equipment. So let's uh, get ahead in that way. I think what I'm going to do is come back over here and go around the edge of this field. So we get to see how flat or hilly all of these are. Wow, this looks incredibly flat. Look at this, y'all. And it looks like one of these fields over here we own because there's a harvester over there. And I don't know why we would have a harvester if we didn't own a field. Oh. So... Let's run over here and see if this is one of the fields that we actually own. Look how flat this is, y'all. This is so awesome. Man, I have just found a new map that I really want to play on. I'm an American farmer, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous area right here. We'll take a look and see how much all these fields are in a second. So this right here is field number 19, it looks like. That's a pretty big field. Wow. Wow. So if we look on the map here, we are right here on this field. That's, as far as fields go, one of the biggest fields, and we own it. That is cool. So let's see what else we own. So we own the cows. Okay. We own field 41. We own field 19. And we own that little area that we started on. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. But I mean, I can't get over how flat. So, I mean, if you had a little harvester like that, you'd be perfectly fine up here, as long as you never had to take it to the shop. 
right? <laughs> so that is really, really cool. Really cool. Um, let's uh, take a look at equipment really quickly. Let's go to the garage and see. So we start out with a T7 or a T5 100. We know that. We got the Fent Favorite 511C. We have the Rothelmash 330. We have the Kramer KL 30.8T. We have a regular trailer. We have a um, header for zero grains. We've got the cultivator, the cedar. We have a front mower. We have the collecting wagon. We have a bucket. That's interesting. So the cow pasture is going to hold 50 cows. Okay. And we have the silo down at the main farm. So that's going to be a little bit of a drive. You might need to put something up over by the cows, honestly, because I wouldn't want to go all the way up and down those hills with the trailer. But bunker silo over there, um, shed, that's that really big one. And then we've got three of those little things. We've got the other shed, too. So that's all your equipment. You don't have a whole lot, y'all. There is a lot that you are going to need. Um, but you have plenty of room. You still have, if you start right now, you still have 800 in 31 slots 831 to buy equipment that is awesome now remember you only start with equipment on new farmer you do not start with equipment on farm manager or start from scratch so let's go over here and look at some of these other fields i really like how you've got some rollingness here but it's still relatively flat now watch out for those rocks I think the rocks are going to prevent you from wanting to combine a bunch of stuff together, but I mean, why couldn't you combine some stuff together? A little bit of trees here, take those out, make one big field between 20 and 21, of course. Keep coming around like this. We'll go up over this way and look at these fields too. Once again, a nice flat area that you could do a lot with. Wow. Then you get down over here and they start getting smaller again. But I mean, really, they're still flat. Relatively flat. How about I say that? So let's go ahead and turn. And we'll come over here and look at this and see how much of a drop off this is. Because I think this is going to be pretty steep. Wow. I'm not going down there. I think I'm just going to hang out up here and admire this view. This is beautiful. I love it. So, I mean, it's just crazy to think that in Germany, this exists. I mean, not that I didn't think it did, but I would have had no idea that this type of farm exists in Germany right now. Especially when you look at the mountains all the way around. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful scenery. So, let's take a look at prices on uh, property right now. So, we know that Field 19 is only 77,000. That's one of the bigger ones. Like, if you look at 10, well, 10 is 84. Okay, 74. Field 26 is 53. Field 41, it's all grass right now, is 73. Now, you come over here, and this Field 66 is 104. All right, so that's probably your biggest one. 57 is 69. 62 is 62. That's kind of funny. And then you want to look at, you know, the smaller stuff, like 7 and 8. Ooh, you got to buy that whole thing if you want that. And then that one's smaller. I guess that wouldn't be too bad. Like, if you wanted to buy some of this area here, 178, 145, 52, 136, 76, 24, you got to buy a big chunk. Now, some of these down here, yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. you got to start buying some of these in chunks. So the big ones are okay, but like this, 77. Then you want field 29, so you got to buy in a chunk. And then a weird chunk, and then a chunk. 31 you can buy by itself for 16,000. That's awesome. 35, can you buy it by itself? Yep. 23, 35. 19, I think that's the cheapest one yet. What about 25? 9240, there you go. That's probably going to be... The cheapest one in less field 48. 36. I think that is the cheapest field I have ever seen on any map. Yeah. Right there. 
36, 67. Way to go. 36, 67. Anything cheaper? Going once. Going twice. 36, 67. I can't buy anything there. Or there. Or there. All right, that's it, 3667. So, this area here, if you want to sell it, it's 23,000. So, not horrible, and like I said, 73 on that one. So, if you want to sell that 5553. I don't know if it'll let you because of the house. You might be able to. Kind of doubt it though. Here's your silo also. So, a lot of cool stuff in here. This is a fun looking map. I don't know how friendly it's going to be for workers. So I would say be cautious there because it doesn't look like they're super uh, friendly. Like they're going to be set up really well for that. You can just see some of the rows are offset a little bit. So it looks very, very realistic if it was being made to a PDA or to a, a real life location. Absolutely amazing and beautiful. And I'm going to go walk out here in the canola um but yeah it's a great map great slot count to build and do some really really fun things with so if the germany area is for you then i definitely would recommend going and checking this out so that's gonna be it for today everybody if you liked what you saw go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you didn't like what you saw go ahead and give me a thumbs down i can take it if you would leave a comment down below on what you liked, what you didn't like, it's going to help me improve and make these that much better. I'm really liking doing these map tours for consoles. I know there's not many of us that are doing console map tours. And I think it's really important for the console players so we understand what there is. Um, you know, I know there are a couple other people that do it that are a little bit bigger than me. But I wanted to kind of get into it. I enjoy this. And it's given me a chance to look at the maps and see if it's something that I want to add into my Let's Plays. Speaking of my Let's Plays, if you checked out some of my other stuff, I've done a few series in a couple different locations. Doing a battle royale right now with some other console players trying to figure out who the best farmer is. It's a 60 day, 60 hour challenge and um, it's heating up. It really is. We're about a quarter of the way done right now. Maybe a third of the way. So check that out. It's really cool. We've got links to all the other participants in the description of those videos. So head on over, sit back, enjoy a drink, and get caught up. Um, and speaking of sharing, if you want to go ahead and share any of my content with anybody that you think would enjoy this type of content, feel free. I will never tell you that you could not share one of my videos. I love it when more people get to see because it brings more people into the channel, the more comments. That way I can make sure that I'm making content that you all enjoy. So everybody, have a great day. And until next time, this is Driver53 signing off.